It's 3 a.m. and I don't need to introduce you about 2020. You probably know better. Hell, we even got a bingo seat for you. Not sure if it is a big coincidence or bad things have always happened in the past years too, but somebody decided to meme this year and it got popular. Hence, changing the public's opinion. Some kids idolize the global apocalypse like zombie attacks or something. So we can do some badass zombie killing it. Well, we actually got a sci-fi like plot happening for real, but without the exciting stuff. Lockdown. Basically prison, but for everyone. The same thing is, if you escape the prison, you're a criminal. <laughs> Hopefully that's the case, but eh. We have this kind of people roaming our beloved society. Because of them, the plague is prolonged and the people who actually need to go out for their job to get money to actually able to purchase foods, they are fucked. As my old friend once said, And because not many people sacrifice as extreme, the cases remain extreme. Feels bad for those that already sacrifice their job. They keep the regulation low to protect their economy, but little do they know that the economy is either ruined or destroyed completely anyway. Like taking a betadine to cure broken ribs, because surgery is too expensive. The economy is fucked, our jobs are fucked, some people are literally fucked. The claims are shady as it is delivered without proper complete explanation or transparency, foreshadowed by the political heat of the international leaders and their oddly fitting conspiracies with perfect motivation. Character and backstories almost identical with fictions about heavy corruptions and dictatorship agendas. But frankly speaking, it's not ludicrous to say that they are deliberately spread the plagues to economically destroy others then take the seat of world leader without invoking a frontal war even though they are fully prepared for that possibility. Um, it's not good to linger in the past. Shit already happened. However, it's not just the bad things happen. Let's see the good ones. Africa is free of polio. The streets are clean of people and just look at this incredible contrast. Much less carbon dioxide emitted. I don't care much about earth but this is incredible. Impressive. Fossil fuels are in trouble. Solar and wind powers are significantly cheaper now. We started our work from home revolution. Some jobs are probably still will be done from home because it has been proven doable. We finally got Cyberpunk 2077 and its bugs. The vaccine for COVID has been found, despite it's already rumored pretty far back from February or something. But blah blah, the founder is dead the day after. The pandemic reveals a lot about people. That people are basically dumb fucks. Like ass. The bad type of ass. To another kind of people, they actually finally can do the things that has been delayed forever, like go to a gym or something. Lots of stuffs are proven doable when you just do it. Imply it, no delays, screw your excuses. You want to study piano, just get on the piano and boom, you're a master now. By now, people has learned new skills and soft skills. To be fair, Anything that happens always have good sides and bad sides. I think it's not responsible of me if I say everything is okay because good things will always be there. Hell, some things are still terrible. The good things are not worth it at all. Frankly, of course it is a horrible year. But should we keep mourning over it? Perhaps. Should we stop weeping and get up? Perhaps. I don't say we have to. Sometimes deep mourning make actually hurts less. It's relative. Everything is relative. Who knows what tomorrow brings? Who knows if there is tomorrow at all? Is it your fault? Is it my fault? Is it anybody's fault? Perhaps. Even Jesus don't specifically tell us what will happen tomorrow. What am I ranting about? What's my solution? I don't have it. Don't ask me to fix this mess alone. I'm still a human, despite of how I look. A social creature. My DNA tells me to cooperate, even though I prefer solitude. Help each other is my proposal. Greens.
but hell, just follow whatever the regulation says. It still does something to fix this situation. Silence your ego. Chill a bit. It's a great time to take a beer. The year is bad, but always remember, you are worse. It's 31st December here. Anyway, congrats you little bulge bulge pasta. You passed 2020. Happy New Year.